So what's up guys, back with another video. Today we're going to be finishing off the third part of the three part trilogy of building the scooter. And um, before we start this video, I also wanted to mention, we found this old bike and we might be, we might buy it and, and we might do a video about it. I think it might be Cooper's video. Um, and if you look up at the sky, it's looking crazy. And there might be a rain delay, we're not sure. It, it does look like pretty nice weather, but it, it, Mother Nature is unpredictable. So, um, let's get started. All right, so what we're doing now is we're going to put the, um, these, these two parts onto the fork, and they should just slide right in. I want to make sure that the and then I'm just gonna slide the fork right in here. Boom. All right. So what we're gonna be doing now is adding this we're facing down. I have to hold this so this doesn't fall out and it makes pretty big mess. And then we're gonna put this on and we're gonna screw it up. So this first piece we're tightening as hard as I can with my hand so we can um, start with the next two pieces. Alright so right now I'm going to hold the forks in with my feet so they don't spin when I'm spinning on the nut. And then when I'm done spinning on the nut, we're going to snug it because we already put these two pieces on. So. Alright, we snugged up the, the nut and now the, and the fork still spins pretty nice. Alright, so now we're going to add in that part. Right here, the stem. Tighten it. All right, now the first thing, what we're gonna be doing now is putting on the handlebars. So we have to put them on like this. We're gonna put in my favorite painted part, if you remember last video. I was trying to show it, but I kind of messed up when I was doing We're only snugging them because we need to turn this in the end. All right, so for for this part, I'm gonna have to call over my brother Cooper. Come on, Cooper, come here. Hello. And what he and what he's gonna do is he's gonna hold this up so I can tighten this in place. Hold that right like that. I'm doing the X pattern, so I'm gonna go across from this one, and we're gonna go this one, and we're gonna go across from that.
handlebars are straight with the fork, so I'm able to tighten up the stem of this. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the brake levers on. Now, all right, so what we're gonna be doing now is spraying hairspray on the inside of, of the grip so that there's e they're easy to put on and when the hairspray spray dries, they're not gonna be able to be taken off, so. All right, so it was pretty tough, but we got the grips on and if you look at him, it almost looks like they turn into a balloon and they're going to shoot this out. It's, it's kind of weird. But we got the brakes on, um, by the way, while we were doing that. And now I have to tighten up the brakes. There we go. That, that is real tight. I think that's tight, tight enough. All right, so right now we're going to be putting on the pad. Alright, and then we're going to put a washer and a nut on the bottom of each bolt. Uh, I think we got a possible rain cloud coming. Alright, so what we did was we tightened up the front bolts of the scooter and we put the kickstand in so now it's time for the back all right so what we're doing now after we got this on we're going to flip the scooter over and we're going to put the wheels on we're hooking up the brakes is the second thing we took off and that's the last thing we built back and the wheels were the first thing we took off but now it's the second the second last thing was on the back. The lock washer and the nut. Yeah. Just these. Alright, so the lock washer is supposed to lock into this hole. So when we tighten it in, it's not gonna it's not gonna the the washer is not gonna pop out, so it's not gonna. No. Actually, the other one. Same thing: a lock washer and a nut, and we have to hook it up to the hole. But this this time's on. This.
everybody who watched this the second the first video saw all this but backwards All right, so I'm about to spin it because, well, it spins really nice, which is good because after we tighten the bolts, we gotta make sure it still spins or else I can't ride it. All right, so now we're gonna put the back wheel on here by lifting this up just a little. I say that as I lift up the whole thing, like three meters. All right, now we need another log washer and another nut. And let's bring the lock, other lock notch, lock washer and nut over here just, just so I don't have to take a second trip. The next thing we're going to do after finishing off this wheel is the front, the back brakes is what I'm, I think we're going to do first. Because I think it's just easier to hook up the back brakes first. Alright, so now I'm going to tighten them with a wrench because just in case, this is not my wrench. Alright. tiny peg right there that tiny little peg into this hole right here which is probably not visible but it's So what we're doing now is putting in this brake cable through all of these holes.
So what we're doing now is attaching the front brakes. So first we gotta put on So what we're gonna do for now is we're going to put on back, put back the phaser noodle thing. But instead of doing it the right way, we're gonna, we're gonna flip it around. This, this is, I don't even know why I did this. I just thought if I can't paint it, cause it's not gonna stick, then flip it around. So, push this on the lens. And there we go. We have officially finished the scooter. All right, now it's time for the riding I don't know where we're gonna go for that. Oh, see you there. You want to try that again? <laughs> no. All right, so um, that was kind of wonky, but we're keeping that in. All right, so um, that's the end of the video. I hope you like the drive shots around this big lap. Um, hopefully, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be building um, a bike. And I think it's going to be Cooper's. So stay tuned for that. Um, it might be a bike. It might be a quad, a quad though. And the quad would be both of ours, so uh, that that just basically broke me. Uh, well, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, bye.